Hey YouTube, welcome back to our channel, The Big King Family. Um, I'm here today with a thrift haul. Um, I go to the Goodwill outlet to find items, which is called sourcing for them. I find items to resell online. And as you guys know, I've mentioned it in several of my videos. I resell online. I'm a stay-at-home mom, but I do do that. I resell online on Poshmark and Macari, and my stores will be linked in the description below. If you want to go look and see what I'm selling or whatnot. Um, and so that's what I do to make extra money for me and my family while being a stay-at-home mom and spending a lot of time with my family, okay? Um, I finally got back out to the Goodwill outlet. I had not been since January when the pandemic hit. I tried to go a couple of times. They had met, they had made up so many different rules and regulations that, you know, you kind of just almost didn't want to be in there. A Goodwill outlet is a place that has bins all over the place, all over the place, big old bins all over the place. If you don't know what the Goodwill outlet is, bins all over the place you go in there you get the stuff out the bins and they sell it to you about a pound and um, ours is a dollar and 59 a pound for clothing and for the hard goods like when you find you find blenders toasters irons whatever you need for your house curtains everything out there's all kinds but curtains would be in the clothing part so it's a dollar and 59 for clothing and cloth items and shoes and um for hard goods it's only 59 cents a pound for hard goods that's it that is it, you guys. So we're gonna jump right on into the haul. I wanna tell you guys that today I got a total of 29 items. Well, when I went to the bins, I got 29 items and I did not pay but $23.21 um, for the items, which gave me an out-of-pocket of 80 cent per item. So really I paid less than a dollar per item, some change for every item. So uh, I love going to the Goodwill outlet, finding stuff and then flipping it. For a profit one of these items have already sold and i'll tell you that item when we get to it in the video okay so let's hop right on into the haul i'm gonna start with the first two items that i actually picked up that was worth over 30 dollars um everything else i picked up was between the 15 and 29 dollar range i haven't been out there since january y'all so that's almost six months so i gotta get kind of back in the groove and and, and my mind got to get back to picking up items that are worth more than $25, okay? But these two items right here, I do have them listed for more than $30, and um, they that's what they're worth. So um, let me show you these two items first. I know y'all saying, well, these just are pair of tights. These are little pair of tights, <laughs> and they got little pockets in them. And you know what? As a matter of fact, they are children tights. Children tights, y'all. And uh, they are called the Ivana. Aviva, Aviva Aviva tights and here's the logo right here the Aviva tights and uh, I know a lot of you guys probably have never heard of Aviva but the Aviva is the children brand of Lululemon so Lululemon is a very very nice athletic um, uh, you know they sell athletic type clothes exercise clothing and they're very expensive so this is their children brand of that and i put these up for 35 dollars and i already have a lot of likes on them and it has that that's the logo for it if you start reselling and you see some avana or lululemon you see either one of those logos make sure you pick it up because you know you're gonna get you a little change for it the resale value has went down for it some but i'll still pick it up anytime i see it ahead of myself i watch a lot of these hauls okay so a lot of times they show you the they show you the tag what the tag look like okay and these right here are a size they tell you the size too these are a size eight you probably can see that these are a size eight in the tights for the little girls okay and i did show you the logo for it you always want to know what to look for and um it was one more thing. Oh, yeah, the size and the logo is something that they show you doing their hauls. Okay, you guys, I'm new to this. Well, I've done a couple of hauls in the past, but that was like a year ago when I first started. But now I definitely want to let you guys know what I be what I be doing, you know, like off script besides cooking, cleaning, trying to save money on groceries. Um, I definitely, I do this, and this is a love of mine. I love reselling clothing. So let me show you the next item I next got. The next item I got was this skirt. And from the looks of it, when I looked up comps or how much they're selling for, um, I can I can put this up for about forty to forty five dollars, and I may get um, probably about thirty to thirty five for it. It is this brand right here, CC, a CC brand, and this is by Cynthia Steffi. Cynthia Steffi. This is a size twelve, and I thought it was really cute. You see the little splits in it, the little splits in it, and it's kind of a fit and flare. Floor, maybe it should be pretty good for the summer. And that's the back of it okay and i don't know if it is lined or not yeah 
it is lined you know lightly lined though not real heavily lined so this is a really nice skirt and it's a really nice brand they go for about 30 to 40 bucks on Poshmark I don't know why a lot of people say they don't sell kids clothing but I do this is about a brand Justice I pick up stuff by Justice because it, it's a consistent seller for me. These are just some cute little jean shorts, okay? And these are size 10S. 10S. So, do that mean 10 short? No, because these are like thigh, thigh length shorts. But these are so cute with the little cuff on the bottom. But these are a size 10 in girls. And I thought they were so cute by Justice. I picked these up in order to resell. Okay. This is by the brand A Buyer. And it's a size small. I just thought it was a cute top. I picked it up for style. I just thought that was really cute. I just really like that. If I could wear that, I would keep that. That's cute. And then it has a cutout in the back. Very cute. Size small. Okay. This would be up in my closet. Okay. These are by the brand Woolrich. Woolrich. Let me move that tag down so you can see it. By the brand Woolrich. And this is a pretty good brand. It's just a pair of shorts. And out here in Arizona, people like to go hiking and moving around and stuff. It just seems like a pair of shorts that they would just kind of throw around with, with a t-shirt and keep on rolling. And you can put on with some hiking boots or whatever for the summer. Two pockets in the front. These are pockets in the back. Okay. I'm picking up shorts and stuff because it is summertime. Okay. And these are, these are women's. These are women's. And they are a size eight. These are women and they're a size eight. Okay. And um, a couple of these items I don't have up in my closet yet, but they're going because I'm going to get them up tonight. Just those few I showed you are not up. Now, from now on out, everything else I show you is already up in my closet. This right here, I, just, I told you I like picking up little kid stuff, especially if it's really cute. This is by Cat and Jack, okay? And it's a size medium 7, 8. A size medium 7, 8. And look at this cute little swimming suit. I thought that was so cute. And then it just got the little tie up around the neck. I already got some watchers and lookers on this. This is so cute, and it's really kind of shimmery. Yeah, you can see that. It's kind of shimmery. So cute. And then it has kind of the little open back. It's a full suit for a little girl to go swimming in. Size 8, size 7, 8, medium. Okay, I got this little white tank top. This is for me. Shoot. I'm going to throw this on around the house, or even when we go out. The temps have been 115 plus every single day here in Phoenix, Arizona. So hot, so I grab me a tank top. When I go out, I always find something for me, Lord. This is also a keeper piece. Uh, this is by the brand uh, Eden and Oliver. Oliver. It's a 1X, and I think I can. I tried it on already. It's a little. It fit pretty much just right. You got the little sleeve. I like three. I love three, four sleeves. I love the way this is made with a button up with it on. You guys will see me with it on sooner or later. This was so cute, though. It's all together and stuff. I just washed these items, so that's probably why it's together. It's a one X, but Eden and Oliver is a nice brand to pick up. It's sold in, in anthropology stores and stuff like that. So you're not gonna get just a whole lot, but maybe 15 or 20 bucks for a shirt like this. I'm gonna keep that though. These right here are by Celebrity Pink. It's called Celebrity Pink. And let me show you the name, the tag on it. Celebrity Pink, okay? And these are the skinny ones, okay? These are just a lime green pair of pants. It was a light stain up top. Yeah, you can still kind of see it lightly. I'm going to tell that in the description, but I don't think it's nothing that's going to make or break the deal. Just a skinny pair of lime green jeans. Mm-hmm. By Celebrity Pink. Okay. And these are really cute skinny jeans, I thought. For the summer and stuff. Really nice color. And um, these are a size... What size are these? Let me get it for you. Size five, size five in juniors. Okay, you guys are 27. I also picked up this little Nike jacket right here. Little Nike jacket right here. Very cute. It's a full zip and then the pockets zip up too. I really like this stuff. I know you guys probably really don't even need to know, but this is by the athletic department Nike. It's a medium. And um, I figured that it was a medium in women's because it don't fit me. A medium in men's would fit me. But a medium in women's definitely not going to fit me. But very cute. Very cute. Light summer, summer spring jacket. Nike jacket you can maybe wear. I got this shirt right here. A ton of people are already watching it. They're already on it. It's by the brand Torrid. 
Torrid is a consistent seller for me. It don't sell for like a ton of money, but it's it's one of those consistent sellers. And uh, we call them in the resale world, we call them bread and butter, um, bread and butter sales. You know, um, those are items that you pick up. They're going to sell regardless, but you ain't going to get them, but maybe $10 to $20 for them. $10 to $20, 10 to 20 But when, in the resale um, world, they don't think, I mean, they don't act like it's much. They call it bread and butter, but to me, I love it. Especially when you get it and it go ahead and sell. But it's by the brand Torrid. And it's a size five, a much bigger size. I was so happy to find this. A cute top. If you can see that at the bottom, I'm going to have to lift up some. And then the bottom, you could tie that up right on the side. I don't know why it's open now. Oh, because I washed it. That's probably why it came open. So it's got an Amsterdam, you know, a slanted bottom. And uh, it ties up at the side. And it's just three-four sleeves. It's really kind of light though, but it is black and a little heavier, not really. So this is really nice, really nice. And I already got a lot of watches on and stuff, so it should sell soon for about that fifteen to twenty dollar range. Oh, my three bread and butter, no matter what, Nike, Under Armour, and Torrid, they gonna sell. I mean, I don't keep nothing like that in my closet for. I'm gonna say more than a month. I ain't even gonna say a month, but some of it do sit around for a little while, for a little while, but not much, not much. You pretty much get rid of that Torrid, Nike, and Under Armour. I can't, those are my consistent sellers. Some people say that they can actually sell the mall brands, and I will tell you, uh, Route 21, Route 21 and um, what's that other one, H&M, they sell for me pretty good too. But that Banana Republic and J. Crew, it sell real slow for me. I probably just don't be picking up the right stuff. But anyway, enough of that. I'm just telling you kind of how my business goes, you know? Um, so you got Tord. I found that again. This is a size two, and this is a keeper. I'm gonna keep this for myself. Wait a second, now that I got it right, I thought it was a cute little top. I'm gonna try it. If not, it'll just go up for sale. I'm gonna try it though. Very cute little top. That's what that is. That's the other one I was thinking about. H&M, Rue 21 are some mall brands, but Forever 21 it sells pretty good for me too. This is a Forever 21 dress. And it is a size small. I probably have to stand up to show you the. It's a little t-shirt dress, but it come all the way up. Okay, and y'all see down at the bottom, like where it splits right here. It splits. Let me try to get the gist of it. Yeah, it splits down here at the bottom. And this right here was tied up when I bought it. So whoever had it, what they did, they had it kind of tied up in the front. I saw those dresses like in the summertime. People are kind of tied up at the bottom, the longer dresses very nice knit dress and it is already up and it is what did i say it was a size size small okay by forever 21. Very this cute. brand right here i hear a whole lot about it this is my first time ever finding this brand it's um by the brand brandy mandeville i've never found that brand and it says it's one size this is some cute little shorts right here and it says it has little pockets in the front. It says that they are made in Italy and these will sell for about 15 or 20 bucks. So cute little shorts, you know. And it's supposed to be by a better brand, Brandy Mandeville. Mandeville. And made in Italy, that, that kind of tells the story. When you see something that's made in Italy, you're looking at a pretty good brand. Seems like they take the time to have their stuff made in Italy. This right here is a real basic piece, but I sure got a lot of looking on walkers on it. This is about a brand who don't know Fila. And this is a size large, a size large t-shirt, like, well, athletic top. Just kind of, come on now. Exercise athletic top, Fila, by Fila. Very cute top. You know, I got a lot of watches and I had a lot of people look at it. So I'm sure it'll sell soon. Okay, this is a, what you would call a Speedo. A little Speedo right here. And you got the Speedo right there, but this one says, speedo endurance so more of a sportier type every time i pick up these uh swimsuits and stuff i check the crotch and the butt area to make sure it's good and clean but then i do always launder them laundry them you know too once i get them and this is the bag that's pretty cute pretty sporty the bag all open back and stuff like that and so this is a speedo size eight Got quite a bit of action on this, you know, for people looking at it, asking questions about it and stuff. So I'm sure it'll sell pretty quickly. That is very cute. I kind of like this. a basic piece, too. But this is just an Adidas sweater with, with the three lines. Adidas. 
with the three line. It's a peach one. It's kind of a peach color. That's one reason why I picked it up. It's summertime and stuff. Somebody might throw this on them at night. And this is Adidas, of course, but it's a size small. Size small, Adidas sweater. Okay. Thought that was really, it's real clean and neat. Ready to go. So, oh yeah, I do. I have to list this too. I'm going to list that. Just yet. These tights right here are made by Stella Tweed, and they're medium. That that um, it's kind of faded out. It's but Stella Tweed is her name, and these are medium. I thought they were cute, but when I looked them up, I don't see too many people having them on there. And it say good vibes, good vibes, and it got that little clear, like clear netted at the bottom. You know, that little clear netting at the bottom right here. I thought that was so cute. These are size medium. You know, if not, I might go and put because um. Right now we're in this hotel. This is a studio hotel that we're in and we're only gonna be here for another two weeks and then we'll be leaving out uh, headed toward down south. And my daughters will be down there and I might bring these for like, Cindy might like these. These are really cute and they'll meet them. They're just her size. I think Cindy would like these. I think I might, I can get them in my suitcase, ball them up and get them in my suitcase. If they don't sell by then, because what I was gonna do with all my items is resell them to consignment stores and the rest will have to get redonated because I just can't take everything with me. All the stuff I'm selling. Start from scratch when I get to Alabama, which will be easy. As you see right here, I got 30 items, you know, in one day. If I go two or three times, I have, I'll be back up to 100 items within, um, within a week or so. So it don't take long to to jump back on board whenever you have to do away with your inventory. But these are really cute. I had got this swimsuit right here and it's a tie up, it ties up. And then it has padded, you know, padded bust line, which is always good, help hold you up on your bust line. And this is a size 16 right here. And the back is kind of open, very nice. This is size 16, I'll think about maybe keeping it. But you're not really gonna do swimsuits. You're not probably put on t-shirt and shorts to jump in the pool with. And it's by the brand, it says G-I-L-I. -I. And a lot of people, when they come on here, they've been there did a lot of research. I'm gonna start researching a lot more on my brands. And it's a size 16 for women. Very cute, very, very cute. It's already up in my Poshmark closet. So, uh, and, and my car would not in. Check it out, you guys. All right, this is another keeper. This is a pink bra by the, by the brand Pink by the brand pink i thought it was really cute and everything it is a, a 36d so i wore a 38d but i've been trying to cut back on carbs and sugar trying to hey y'all don't 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 even go there with me lord i've been trying to cut back on carbs and sugar so i think the 36 would fit me because my 38d bra goes all the way to the last latch now so i think i may have eased down a little bit but see you know we will see so this is cute even if i can't wear it i would definitely resell this bra this pink Okay, this right here is just a little jacket, a little bomber jacket I found. I thought it was really cute. Let me give that by the arm. Got the little lines, kind of like a little Adidas jacket, but it's not Adidas, not Adidas. Got the little pearl snap buttons on the pockets and stuff. And it's by the brand New Look. It's a size large. Now, I will show that right here on this side, somebody did have to stitch it up. Let me see. This must not be the side. Okay, this is the side where somebody had to kind of stitch it up and it was kind of a, a tad of a messy job but i don't i think with you wear with your arms that you ain't gonna see that too much you can always just redo that yourself neatly for two dollars because you go to dollar tree and grab the thing and stitch it up or whatever so i still put it up and i really believe it's still going to go ahead and sell very cute it's very cute very clean cute little light bomber jacket and it's like a pastel pink with the white stripes i really I like to find it. as many shorts as i could this is a brand new pair of shorts by gap who don't know gap and then like a newer line of gap gap and uh it's their uh city short okay this is size six and it's a brand new pair of little gap shorts very very cute very very cute so yep these are already up in my closet I'm really looking for shorts, okay, guys? So I picked up these first shorts, too. These seem to sell the little, uh, like a, a, pa a paisley, yeah, a paisley printed shorts. And this is by the brand Talbots. 
Talbot is a hit or miss brand for me. Some of it sells and some of it don't. And this might be one that did sell. It was a size, it's a size four. It was in my closet, but it sold today. These shorts sold for $10 today. And as you guys know, I paid $23 for the whole haul, but then these sold for 10. That's almost half of my haul paid for. I went Wednesday and today is Friday when I, I'm doing this video. And yep, these already done sold for 10 bucks. I gotta get them. Um, I gotta get them uh, packaged up and get ready to get shipped out. I had them up for 16. I took the $10 offer though. This is a very cute dress right here. Cute, open, kind of plunged neck. And then it goes down like that. Cute little dress, very cute. Plunge neck, uh, plunge back also with an opening. This is the opening in the back right here. Very cute and it does have I thought it had little pockets, no, but it do have little belt loops and the belt is not with it, but you can always put a cloth belt around that, a cloth belt around it. This is by Torrid. Somebody gave up, gave up a lot of Torrid pieces. And size zero though, it's a size zero for the Torrid. Um, just look it up. I think a Torrid size zero would be more on the smaller side and um, it would be like a small. Somebody said like a size four, but this is not a four. It can't be. So um, it looked like it would be like a size, at least a size large. Tord is a plus size line with vanity sizing. So um, pretty much if you bought Tord before, you know what size you need in Tord. And I think I'd be needing like a size two, but I'm making getting some zeros, zero to two. But then they go all the way up. You saw I had a shirt that was a size five in Tord. So, hey, this is a cute dress. I don't hear too much about this brand anymore, but this brand used to sell, sell, sell for me. This little top is a J. Jill brand, and this is an extra small. It has a little crochet at the top, and it's just a, t a tank top, you know, white for the summer, no stains or nothing. A very nice soft knit, you know, stretchable knit too. So by J. Jill, it used to sell really good for me, but this right here, I'll probably get between 10 to 15 bucks for it. This is a bread and butter. <laughs> Looking at doing bud. this is a bread and butter skirt right here. It's by by Indio Rain. It's a size 15. And sometimes my jeans by Indio Rain, they sell. And this is a new skirt, size 15 in junior. So it's a bigger size than a junior. Very cute. And I like that front where this is a full button up in the front. You can unbutton that. So full button front. So very cute. Brand new. So it's already I found this. I don't think I ever found this in children. This is Zella Girls. And it is an extra small, size five, six in girls. Zella is an athletic line, kind of like Athleta and Lululemon and stuff like that. Uh, it's an athletic line. And then they sell clothing for children also. Oh, so cute. It has a high-low hem. You see how it's high-low at the bottom there. It has uh, the little thumb holes right here. The little Zella spell out right there. So cute. And it actually has... A little hood in the back so cute so the the um little girl she really could be exercising right with her mom with her cute little uh exercise hoodie on so this is really cute it's already up in my closet no stains or nothing for it to be a white you know very nice uh, little top for a little girl all righty this is the top i it's just a summer time i just picked it up i did i just picked it up it's very cute teacher wear more modest more mature wear but i would pick it up and this is by uh, Claudia Richards. My mom wore a lot of Claudia Richards because sometimes she would wear church suits and stuff and she would have them, uh, she would put them on and stuff. So this is more of the shirt, you know, the shirt kind of. She she has a dressy line, like for women who like to wear dressy and very classy stuff. I thought this was really cute. There was not a size on here, but I put it as a medium because I measure items all the time in my business and it measured as a medium. So very nice. Uh, dressy tank top. I don't think I can get in this, but if I could, I might put it on with some real cute um, capris and some little heels. Definitely try to be cute one day. <laughs> right, this is one that don't never too much get old either, but it is a another brand that you gotta pick and choose. This is called Chico's. You might can't see it that good, and you probably can definitely see this little bitty hole that's right there. This is a Chico. They also have vanity size. This is a size four in Chico's. And I'm back doing a butt head spill something. Alrighty, so. Yep, it's a little cardigan. Nice. Hopefully you can see that really good. Yeah, nice little cardigan. Yeah. 
and it has pockets this one yeah this one has pockets on the side very nice little cardigan mm-hmm all right this is a size four in chico so it's a bigger size this might be like a size i put it as a 2x i believe i did so very nice with three three fourths arms you know the arms don't come all the way down so and it's very lightweight so it could be used pink and you can just go over like a tank top that has pink in it yes very nice very nice all right These two items are two items that are not necessarily uh, they were not thrifted but i i did list them with these other items um a pair of uh i got these for doozy but he had never worn them so real good condition these are size 11 and men these are arizona iced tea little tiny shoes arizona iced tea tiny shoes i already have some watchers on them and stuff and i got them up in my closet in omakari so these are really nice so i put them up in order to resell them this is not going to take them with them so we'll just ah uh, yeah we'll try to resell these before we leave and last but not least i did not thrift this but this is the iphone 10 se it's pretty banged up cracked up banged up that is just a screen protector that's probably holding all the glass in dunaba used this for a long time to um to watch his youtube videos on and and he also had a tablet yeah if you all can remember on his uh, second birthday little gathering we had we bought him a brand new tablet he's toying that up also so we just don't know with dunaba we really just don't know with him but this iphone 10 se they do not do electronics on Poshmark, but they do do electronics on Macari. I will put this up because there are people who um, who refurbish, fix up, and uh, repair old uh, iPhones. And the iPhone 10 is not out of pocket yet. It's not out of pocket yet. They pretty much, they trying to do on away with the 6 and 7, but they did. When we switched over to AT&T, they took Ducey 8 Plus. No, they took his seven plus. They took his seven plus, but they really didn't want to take it. But they said they were looking for eight pluses. I knew it. That's what they really were looking for. So they end up not taking his seven plus because I sold it on Macari for about a hundred dollars. But this right here is a damaged 10 SE. It still charges up, but the screen when it comes up, it don't show anything. It show light, and it still will do what you want it to do. But so you won't you won't be seeing nothing on the screen. So. Uh, it still charges up with everything so i'm figuring that everything on the inside pretty much still works it's just that um somebody can actually use this for parts so this will be going up on makari for parts if anybody wants it or anything like that very valuable for parts because probably buying those parts separately probably can't run on up in the money thank you guys for watching me thank you for listening and until next time youtube stay blessed